What American scientists, while serving as the deputy postmaster general for the American colonies, was the first to produce a map of the Gulf Stream in 1770. Hi, my name's Sud Keller. I'm here with uh, John at Fountain Fort Carson High School. My position in the district is Director of Research Evaluation and Assessment, so that means I'm in charge of all the state assessment and things like that. But uh, one of the wonderful things about our district, because it's uh, just the right size, is we have the ability to interact with students from um, all across the district in a lot of different walks of life. Uh, and John here is a member and we're gonna really dig into it in a second. He's a member of our Knowledge Bowl team and uh, has some really uh, exciting things to share with us. Can you just tell us a little bit about Knowledge Bowl, like what it is? Knowledge Bowl is where a bunch of other schools get together for the first tournament, and how you win is getting the most amount of points in the four different sections. What, and what are those four different sections? The first one is a written test where you have to answer 45 questions mm -hmm. correctly, and the other three are oral, which you have to buzz in and answer a question that is answered. So is it sort of like a Jeopardy game show, like the first person to hit it gets the opportunity answered? Yes. So what are some of the examples of uh, questions or topics that you might be hit with? Some questions may be mythology, how many quests did Hercules have to do? Mm -hmm. How many quests did Hercules have to do? Twelve. Okay. And other questions would be business or what does this stand for? Mm -hmm. It would be a bunch of broad different questions. That's why I usually go in as a team. And so you mentioned that we usually go in as a team and I think one of the reasons why this is so interesting um, is, John, I understand that you are a team of one. Yes, I am a one-man army. You are a one-man army representing Fountain Fort Carson High School. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about what that experience has been? In the test portion, it's a little hard because I have to use my own intelligence to answer most of the questions. And in the oral parts, it's really hard to uh, try and outbuzz all of the other teams. Mm, cause, and how many people are usually in the team? What's the maximum number of people you can have? It would usually be me with two other teams of four. Uh -huh. uh, I have not won any yet, but I have by myself gotten a pretty high score. What would you like to see the future of Knowledge Bowl look like here at the high school? I'd like to see a lot of other people joining it and mm -hmm. actually participating to see how fun it is. Yeah, tell me what makes it so fun. The fact that you get to show a bunch of your knowledge and go against people to show that you know what this is. Mm -hmm. what's, what's that feel like when you get an answer right? It feels really happy and good because you know you knew that question and you won against eight other people. Yeah, that's really, yeah, I can see the smile on your face and the, that look of pride. How do you study for Knowledge Bowl? How do you prepare for it? So whenever you go, the we would usually set up a buzzer round where it would be oral and we would ask questions where you could learn from that. There's also KB Practice, which is the Knowledge Bowl website, which you can go to online mm -hmm. and they will give you actual Knowledge Bowl questions. So if I was interested in Knowledge, knowledge Bowl or I wanted to join the team, I could go to KB Online and take some of these practice tests and just sort of see how I do and see if I enjoy it and whether or not it's fun. It would be online against people. Oh, against actual people? Yes. Oh, that's neat. Um, and then with the buzzer, that's sort of interesting because you don't think about this. Like if I'm a, a baseball player or a football player, I have to learn the muscle memory to be able to throw a ball or to you know catch it in a certain way. You actually engage in buzzer training where you're learning how to hit that buzzer as quickly as possible? Yep. Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us about Knowledge Bowl or um, your excitement or interest in it? The fact that even if you do get a question wrong or you don't win number one, to not let it affect you because there's always next time and you'll learn more knowledge. Well, I really appreciate you spending the time to sit down and talk to us. Um, for any students that are watching this, it sounds like Knowledge Bowl is an awesome opportunity and that there's some uh, great opportunities to be able to um, uh, win, but more importantly, to just have fun and uh, play games and uh, meet new folks. Uh, thank you again, John. Really appreciate no it. No problem.